Welcome back to The Surge and the last episode of Frontier Riders. We've accidentally taken a shortcut to the exit and lost out on some gear, apparently, but who cares? I'll get it later. Making progress of a sort. All right, but we got to fight. We got one chrysalis and a cyber two triggers first. Uh, him. Okay, I can deal with this. Alright, and while we're here, we need the light parts for this thing, so come here. And he does the stupid spin. Watch this. So, interestingly... I hate the chrysalis. At least they don't regenerate like their um, Mechanalis cousins. Interesting. But they're so fucking fast. That's the leg parts. Uh, we can just survive long These enough. Some incredibly authentic looking cowboys. Jesus. To shoot you right through the heart. Ow. Ow. Hey. Hammer away. Good times. One armed bandit. Apparently, I've cut, enough, cut off enough arms to, to warrant a. Uh... Oh, yeah, I forget they could do that. Cut off enough whoop, arms to warrant an award, an achievement that I didn't know existed, but I don't care. I'm just trying to get out of this alive. Whoa. Because I'm trying to get to the boss fight and not dial. Feeling neither shame nor remorse. The cowboy. Just trying to finish this damn Easy episode. Easy there, partner. Easy. Good grief. All right. The good news is, I think that's the end of the chrysalis enemies until, of course, we actually get back into the game proper. But don't quote me on that. Also, lasers. The hanging lump. What the shit, biscuits? Okay. armor too, so that's probably not helping, although it looks like we did stun him. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm seeing where this is going, and I'm not liking it. Ow, fire bad. work on the others, because um, otherwise we're going to just end up very dead. Oh good, he's regenerating. Oh, I can't, I can't move. It will not let me move. Love it when that happens. Killed by an anachronism. 
That's almost impressive. I don't know how I beat this the last time. I know I've done this before. We get, one for we the get two more shots at this, but we lose out on our bonus scrap. Not that I care. I'm just trying to complete this. We're going to go with the Legionnaire and see if uh, a little more oomph fixes this problem. I, I guess the objective is keep the pressure on the... the big guy. He just hit so damn hard. about raging wolf here. That's definitively not what I wanted to happen. I love how they stick together. You know, just to make this so much harder. Come on. Okay, so there goes all our bonus scrap, but the objective is to finish this, not necessarily win or get scrap, because we don't need the scrap. We've got. What? I'm gonna go for the face.
was a waste. This got dark ish. Yes, it's me, the mastermind, Mad Doc Rishbotter. I see you're at a loss for words. Come on, you know who I really. I'm Phoenix Q. Rishbotter, Creo's Q. Head. The humble fabulist who's been jerking you around like a puppet on a string. Sorry, I'm not getting up to shake your hand. Feeling a bit, uh, incapacitated right now. So, first things first. You won. Big whoop. This is a bit awful. You see, I needed a new marshal to save the wasteland outside. Wait, you didn't actually think you were supposed to be the marshal, did you? You're the villain, dumbass! I cast you for the part of Desperate Desperado! I'll tell you this, I'm mighty impressed by how recklessly you killed my poor brainwashed guinea pig. Never tried to negotiate. Never tried to break them out of their days. You just murdered them. No questions asked. And that's why you're the hero's nemesis. The only one worthy to fight the real marshal. Me! Of course, I counted on actually killing you right at the end. I guess there's only one way for me to win this game now. We'll keep playing it over and over until... I pull the trigger and crack your noggin like a coddled egg! One of these days, I'm gonna get you good. But until then, let's have some fun. Buddy, you up for a rematch? Sort of, kinda. We're gonna leave. So this is the other side of the facility. And you see, he's kind of done a major number on the uh, people who came to... <laughs> He's Rich Potter's the QA director, the quality assurance director. No wonder Creo's a sh shit show. Wait, no touching, okay? What does that say? This is our central audio control system. It broadcasts my dulcet tones wherever you go. <laughs> Tricked ya! That wasn't the volume slider. All you did was switch on the censorship, you f oh. <laughs> Don't you ever f with that again, or I'll f you f until you f I told you, you'll never find the volume slider. Oh, no. There we go, speakers are off.
Hooray! Episode 9 completed. We got a little bit of tech scrap out of it, which is going to go towards our total. Uh, which is not enough. But we did get a few extra implants out of that home mask, too. So let's take a look at those. Uh, five voltaic dynamo version, or three voltaic dynamos version five. Which we don't need, but I'm gonna only scrap two of them plus the version three that we had, which commits to our core power because uh, why not? And we get the crystal slate gear, so yeah, yeah. this allows us to turn the volume back on. You switched me on again, you glorious son of a bitch! The old team, together again, feels good, don't it? Alright, what do we got? So we have these two items, Rush Hour and the Volcano get us the last two rewards. But, screw it, I'm gonna do it on, uh episode one because we don't need to do it either but you guys don't need to see me do that either so i'm going to pause the game or pause the recording excuse me run through this real fast and then we'll get back to the real game all right i've gone back and i picked up the uh both the metavoltaic injector max which has requires a 40 power consumption versus our 12. i think that just fills your health full stop um and also something a tad unexpected we picked up where is it the vital injections max which is actually which is 20 but again with the armor we're wearing we don't really need it we do however have one more audio log to listen to so we might as well examination of number rt three four six eight nine two dr phoenix q Rishbotter, male 52 Finally, I've found someone who's only partially dead. The patient has been paralyzed for the last 48 hours. Neural system is not responding to outside stimuli. Brainstem and limbic system have been severely damaged, probably due to cortical overload. Separating him from the machine seems to be impossible. Oh, shut your trap, you Harridan. This is a man's world. Strange life signs detected. The patient seems to still have control of the QA fabrication facility. Please calm down, Dr. Rishbotter. I'm just a hologram. Filthy she-devil! I'm immune to your feminine wiles. Now scram! Get out of my saloon! Yep. So this was supposed to be the QA chamber for Creo's research but dr dr ishbotter being the narcissistic fanboy that he is decided it was better used to recreate his favorite tv show shortly after it got, it got canceled anyway back to the nucleus we've got things to do we also have to rescue maddie again Weird audio failure. Probably just because I was so used to uh, swing and and turn and swing and get the axe. <sighs> Back to Ops to get that uh, nice save going, and then we're going to dive into the Nucleus and try not to get absolutely murdered. Welcome, Warren. I give us 50% 50 50 odds that we die immediately. Look out for your fellow workers. They look out for you. Right. Deep 
posing for dominance. Ludicrously fast. What do you have? You have nothing really worth worrying about. I mean, I guess I should take the arms just because they have the uh, Legionnaire, or if I can, if it'll let me. Door's not opening anytime soon, so let's keep going up. Oh dear. He's gonna flail around for a while. What we want is his partner. Come on. you needed one we don't really need one because it's pretty much it's a fairly linear progression actually what is this maintenance well all good things come from maintenance anything to pick up no just a bunch of bodies. Uh, let's go to the top of the stairs because there might be something up there we're missing. Like these guys. Ooh. Must have, must have. Nice. Remember when I said there was a weapon that I liked better than the uh, metamorph metamorphosis? Yeah, this the Fractal Reaver. We need so now we need to get up get it upgraded. We should have enough. Didn't even let me uh, cut. But anyway, the fractal reaver is probably my favorite weapon. Here we go. Pretty naturally sharp blade formed out of unknown alloy constructed by an unknown process. Its external structure appears to be a small scale repeating pattern, giving exceptional strength without being as heavy as similar man-made implements. Fractal Reaver grows warm when it is wielded, as if it is absorbing energy, though means not through means not yet understood. Yep. I love this thing. Um, oh, hi. Sure, I'll take your scrap. I'll open this door and get that uh, audio recording, and then we're gonna move ops. They're feeding on me. They consume and process the organic matter they find. My matter. Building blocks of life. I can feel them every. Abort advisory is cleared. <laughs> okay, fine. Where is it? Today, the bodies were gone. 
overgrown by thick strands of the same black structures that are growing beneath my skin. I took samples, compared them to mine. They're identical. I'm trying not to panic. Started to work with the code. Maybe I can stop it. Slow it down. <laughs> Maybe even reverse the process. So, if we have any hope for humanity, we actually need to find this guy. Because he's, he's actually using what he's found in his own transformation as a basis for stopping... Oh, this just takes us out onto the roof. Um, we need to move Ops, so I'm going to head back up. But that allows us to get onto the roof of Ops if we hadn't jumped down when it was coming up. Anyway. Um, we need to find his work because he's using what's his transformation to stop the stop the nanites before they overrun the, the rest of everything. Yes, hello. So the most interesting thing about the um, chrysalis monsters is that they can add or remove armor to a location as needed. So if they're gonna, if they're charging up to attack, they will remove the armor to get extra power. being that their the body armor is exceedingly tough to cut through. Unless, of course, he drops his guard. Cool. Uh, let's see if we can get Ops to come to us. Here we go. Endurance and answer version 5. We already have something better, so that's out. Um, and then there's a couple of... There's another chrysalis right there. I think this is a trap, kind of. I also think we want his arm... Nope, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Nap time. Let's see. Ah, there, it is kind of a trap. So this is the, what I was looking out for. This, this guy will wreck our shit. Ow. Especially if we get, like, a chrysalis in on this fight, we don't want that. Oop. And the experiment 44H Dark Star, which is... one of the last of the one-handed melee weapons. As a matter of fact, I probably ought to go ahead and read that. There they are. 
sturdy and innovative power tool designed alongside early efforts at nanite experimentation. While its localized containment field was an essential breakthrough, th the so-called Dark Star never fully entered production. Rumor has it that the brilliant young scientist in charge of development experienced a psychotic episode and committed a shameful act of sabotage, fully wiping every hard drive before destroying his workstation and the only extant experiment 44H. You also notice we had an encounter with his... I don't know what you want to call it. Wait a minute. Actually, hang on. Hang on. Let me check something. That's 50, and that's 60. Eh, core power is minimal change. Um, and that's scrap. All right. So, one more place I want to go, and we are kind of out of time, so I'm going to run, try to run through it as best I can. We need to get down there. Oh, I know how to get down there. Well, shit. I was kind of hoping to catch him unawares. Body lock. See what happened to him there, because he became part of the, he became one of the chrysalis, chrysalises, chrysalis, whatever. Anyway, um, I'm gonna stop the video here, and we're gonna pick up next time with me going down underneath ops, because we need to, we actually have to go down there. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.